for pennies on the dollar, come join us at Aquaponics on a Budget. Lord, I'll go for green living. For those of you who are not sure why we're going on video and not live stream, uh, because I changed the format of it because I'd like to be able to answer more questions. Uh, I can't see the questions during the live stream. The videos are, are so much more detailed that I can really get some good details in there a lot quicker than the aquaponics on the budget. But I we're still going to keep up the Friday night uh, live stream, but we're going to start doing videos on aquaponics on budget because I really there's good information that I, I don't want y'all to miss out on. And today, like today, we're going to try. I I got this barrel here, uh, working with siphons, and everybody knows I'm. Working with siphons, I do the flood and drains and the tea siphons and all that. But I need a bigger siphon. I only have these 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 size grommets, but uh, I need something that's going to hold a banana tree or uh, a a fig tree, you know, or something like that. So I'm going to work and try to figure out a siphon for uh, so I can use these larger things. And it can work for a filter system. It can work for uh, you know for Putting more of those floating, uh, floating plastic things in there so they catch more of the bacteria that eats the nitrate. And just go, it'll, it'll be able to go from one barrel to another barrel to another barrel and all the way back to your system. It, at least that's Let's start I'm by installing one of these grommets into the side of this barrel and we'll go from there. Once I get it to a, a point in there, so it's it's coming in on both sides as a as a, a point, it's coming up like that to a point. So that'll fit in my gasket a little bit better. All right, in my experience of uh, installing these, I I found that the barrels are going to be too thick, uh, especially in some areas because you know I find out that the barrels are not the same thickness through there but uh so what the best thing you're gonna have to do i found is just to thin it some so i sand on the outs on the edges like this to to, to get it down <laughs> Just, it just went up in there. You see how it's up in there? And it's on both sides. It went up in there. So now all I need to do is just find the... Look at that. It's not exactly round yet. But what we're going to do, we're just going to say in a quick... Let's try to try to stay out of the way as much as possible. To get this in there, but kind of got to get it started. I went and wet it down. That was about an impossible angle to push it through, so I'm gonna try to wrap right up to the top. There it goes. <laughs> And that was not easy, but hey, we got it. All right, there we go. Right now, the inside of the barrel, you see I have this pipe coming through here, right here. I'm gonna take an elbow right there and put it, the pipe sticking down to the bottom. So this is the experiment part. 
we're gonna see if we can siphon out this water and see how high we can siphon out from the other side. You can see where I'm going with this, so I want the water to siphon out from the barrel and flow out just about the height that it is going downhill just a little bit but right here I have a tremendous drop so I don't know how this is going to work but theoretically uh, using a water level that's how it works so let's try it since I'm having to fill this up close to 55 gallons I went ahead and moved it towards uh, my plant so it would be water nose as it comes out so. I know it's wasting a little bit of water, but uh, if this works, then I won't be wasting any water anymore. I mean, rain catchment that would do this, that would be pretty cool too. Automatically send it and drain it when it gets too cool, drain it out and send it to someplace else. Fill this up with rocks and have your, your bananas in here, your coffee trees, your fig trees. Uh, I can see lots of applications for this. Having a filter system a filter system that'd be awesome so we're gonna be filling up this for a little while so I'll get back to you as soon as we're close right, it's getting close to the top now I want to slow it down a little bit when it gets too close because there's a lot of water coming in here at once and I don't want to duplicate that I just want it to go in there slowly I really want to see how it's going to work. And the water level, okay, I'm turning it down now. That's a little drip there. Alright, it's crossing over the all right, I was playing around with it a little bit and it went boo. <laughs> so, let me try to put this on. All right guys, I hope this helps. Uh, creating this would, was less than $20. Uh, I got the, the grommets from Granger and uh, ordered them in a 10 pack and it didn't pay much for them, about a dollar a piece for them. Uh, so, and I'll give you the serial number and everything. Right there, so I hope y'all have a good one. Ani Ove Ocha means you love me in Hebrew. Later, guys.